The next pollutive consideration for tap water is minor and trace elements. Last week, we shared some studies where something like copper levels goes from biologically beneficial to harming the immune system of the coral to rapid mortalities. However, the range that that happens is basically untestable with hobby-based test kits. ICP may be better, but even that doesn't account for what's bioaccumulated in the coral's tissue. Many of our cities and homes use copper, or copper-containing pipes. When we tested seven local sources of water for copper, four were likely okay, but three were way higher than I'd used for filling, water changes, or topping off a tank with approaching half a part per million copper. Just to give you an idea how this goes way beyond the obvious with copper and corroded old pipe systems, there's the entire periodic table of elements. But we found another using ICP testing of our tap water, which was zinc. There's a study called the effects of zinc supplementation on growth and coloration of stylophora, which found levels of 100 micrograms per liter or 0.1 parts per million zinc detected a considerable 62% growth reduction.